Okay, so if you have a GE Geospring water heater, hybrid water heater that has the anode rod function, but you've replaced your anode rod with a rod that doesn't have the sensing function, which you would bolt this nut on the top with, I'm going to show you how to silence your alarm. So the instructions say to press it once and then press it three more times. And it turns it off. It says off right there. There we go. That was easy. Actually, it actually turned off by the time the second time I pressed it. So the instructions seem to be not correct, but the feature is now turned off. So if you are running into that issue and you need to turn off the anode rod function, it's pretty simple. Press it once to clear uh, the error and then either two or three more times to make sure that it turns it off. And you'll see it will co come up confirmed off. That simple, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to watch my video, where I actually change out the anode rod for one that doesn't have the sensing function. Make sure to check that up. Check that out right here. I'm gonna put the link for you. Okay, thank you guys. Everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, I would invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below right there on the right hand corner. And if you felt that the products in today's video is something you might like to own yourself, there's a product link right up there to the right, upper right hand corner, or down in the description will be a product link for you to purchase the product as well. Thank you very much for watching YouTube.